Nursing facilities need to partner. They need to bring the, this information to their staff. It's kind of one of those deals we're all in this together, and the more we can learn from one another, and there are some people doing wonderful things in this state. We did the best we could with what we knew, and when we knew better, we did better. Nursing homes don't always have a lot of resources. They don't always have someone in their corner to help them find solutions and to be that resource or a consultant to them. And that's who we are. They bring in resources that you just don't have access to. Anything we can bring to the providers to help them provide a higher quality of care for these residents that they serve, that's the ultimate goal. All of these initiatives finally uh, are beginning to align. There's many commonalities. So the State Health Department, OFMQ, the Trade Association, the Alzheimer's Association, we're all on the same page and ready to offer resources and materials and educational opportunities for our nursing homes. The survey agency and the QIOs work together with providers throughout the state on several goals for improvement of resident care in nursing homes. We've worked together to reduce the prevalence of pressure ulcers in nursing homes. We've worked together on infection control. Currently, we're working together on the collaboration to reduce the use of antipsychotic medication and improve dementia care in Oklahoma. The actual survey process that you get from the health department is focused on culture change initiatives. The benefits are so far reaching that I can't imagine why anyone wouldn't want to partner with us. We are inviting every home in the state of Oklahoma to partner with us. Our team cares so much about each of these nursing homes that we work with. We've developed long-standing relationships with many of these people and our mission aligns with theirs, that we do want to improve the quality of life and the quality of care here in Oklahoma. We want to be the leader in the country. We have access to many resources all across the nation. And OFMQ is part of a network of QIOs all across the country, and we are sharing challenges and ideas all the time. We share those with the homes here in Oklahoma, so they have opportunity to hear right away what's happening in different parts of the United States. I think it's very important for people in long-term care to talk to others who work in long-term care, so by networking with one another where administrators can talk to administrators, DON to DON and CNA to CNA, that's where they can enhance their problem solving. If we had put everything in place that OFMQ has put in place to help us, we wouldn't have had a lot of the deficiencies that we have. It validates where we're at and where we need to go and where we need to grow. Collaboratively, uh, it has been an excellent opportunity and uh, one that we wouldn't trade. Uh, I don't think any of us would with our work that we've had with OFMQ. We all know you have happy staff, you have happy residents, you have happy family, you have happy surveyors, you have happy bosses, you have a happy community. So I just encourage all the providers to, to take advantage of these resources be a part of the great things that are happening because not only will the industry require it, but consumers there will demand it. They're going to want it and they deserve it. We've made it really easy for nursing homes to sign up with us. You can visit our website at OFMQ.com and you can learn more about the program there and our participation agreement is online or you can print it off and sign it and fax it back into us or, or mail it in. And, or give us a call. We would love to partner with every home in Oklahoma and now's the perfect time to sign up.